I'm back, guys. I'm back at E3, Cockroach Gaming. We're in the Xbox floor, and I'm here to talk about the Xbox press conference highlights. Oh, well, I'm gonna say my highlights. It's my opinion. So if you don't like it, boo-hoo, sorry, guys. But really, it's my bunghole, and I'm gonna talk about my bunghole. The first thing I wanna say, it's, for me, this was the biggest news, Rare Collection. It was about time. What took you guys so long? But really, it's awesome. We got Battle Toads. We got Conker's Bad for a Day. Uh, we got Banjo Kazooie and all these awesome rare franchises. Franchises, and we got a baby. The other thing is Gears of War. That's for Gears of War for me. It's like Contra, the way it should be on 3D. No, but really, Gears of War is awesome. So we're getting this year, Gears of War, the Ultimate Edition that has Gears of Wars 1, 2, and um, I don't remember, the, did it have 3? So yes, we have Gears of War 1, 2, and 3. Uh, I don't think we have Gears of War Judgment. I'm not sure. Don't judge me, pun intended. A new game is coming uh, for 2016, so we haven't seen much about it. They're building the hype, but Gears of War is always awesome. You know what to expect. You know, you can, you know, get your chains up their asses and stuff like that. Pretty gory, pretty violent. Like I said, that's Contra on 3D done right. A game that I enjoyed, like you have no idea, was Tomb Raider. Yes, we have, oh well, at least for now, it's a time exclusive, but we have, nonetheless, we have the rise of the Tomb Raider. And really, I love the game. You know, nowadays, at least for me, it's really hard to play a game and then at the end be like, I want to play that game again. And with Tomb Raider, that happened. I played Tomb Raider three times. It wasn't a hard game, but it was really enjoyable. And it was like, you know, well, Lara, she got a, a breast D plant and she doesn't have like the cup Ds, but you know, it's okay. The game was awesome. Lara Croft freaking awesome. And it was, you know, kind of truthful because, you know, it wasn't that true at all. You know what I mean. If you play number one. If you haven't played Tomb Raider, go ahead and play it. So anyway, Rise of the Tomb Raider, it's going to be awesome. Love that game. Love what I saw so far. Um, Halo 5. Halo, I'm not the biggest Halo fan because, well, I went with PlayStation at the time. But I have played Halo. I haven't played them all. I own an Xbox One and I own um, was Halo. Yeah, the, the ones that had all the Halo, I forgot the name, but I have that one. And yes, Halo 5, it looks promising enough, so we have to check it. Um, I just don't remember right now if we're gonna get it this year. Now, this is the thing that Xbox did right this year. No, they did a lot of things right, but they this particular thing, they got it way right. Backwards compatibility. Backwards compatibility. 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 You can play your old Xbox 360 games on the Xbox One. I'm pleased to announce Xbox One backward compatibility. Your Xbox 360 games. The games you've invested your time and money in and the games you want to continue to be played will be playable natively on your Xbox One. Yes, this was a low blow to PlayStation. Uh, if you remember, I mean, now this is the new console wars. In PlayStation, they were trolling Xbox with the whole, this is how you can share your games and Xbox had this pathetic bad DRM policy and they changed it because of PlayStation. Now, they did something I've been asking for a long time, both PlayStation and Xbox. Really, backwards compatible, you know what I mean. And, and that's freaking awesome. Uh, that's a thumbs up for those guys at Microsoft. And I am I hope, I hope, maybe this is a, a hint for you, PlayStation, that you can, no, your competition is doing it, you should do the same because nowadays, we have, the, we have the technology, guys. Why not? We can play original Xbox, Xbox 360. 
Xbox 360, and obviously Xbox One. But now, I'm really sure it's Xbox 360. I'm just saying it would be cool if we could play uh, the whole, you know, the Xbox thingies. Those were the highlights for me. Okay, well, if you like sports, yeah, I guess you have a lot of sports game, and that's the platform for sports game. You got your all your forces, your 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 FIFA's. I was gonna say FIFA's, your FIFA's, your Madden's, and yeah, well, to each his own. I'm a pro wrestler, but for the most part, I like I like sports games, but I like them to quote unquote Tropic Thunder. I like them full retard. You know, like arcade-ish, where you can do like all crazy stuff, like uh, WWE superstars, like NBA Jam. Oh my God, those were the days. So anyway, you have your sports games for Xbox One. So thumbs up for you. Those were my highlights, okay? And well, I'm sharing it to you guys. Those are my thoughts. This is Karkamo Gaming right here at E3. Check Karkamo.com, guys. And hey, I'm gonna kill her. Anyway, check Karkamo.com. And guys, like or die.